Hello to you! How are we doing guys? It's Anfoss77 from CobBattles.com uh, I just want to bring you something that I've been messing around with uh, Not like that um, It's the L86 LSW with uh, grip and any other uh, sight So red dot or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, so I've got the five default classes I've got the red dot with grip, silencer with grip uh, I've got the holographic with grip The ACOG with grip and the thermal with grip Now, I'm not going to show you all of uh, the, the sights with the grip attachment um, I'm just going to show you a couple of them because they all do pretty much the same the outcome is the same on them all apart from one and the, the, the one that's different is unbelievable all I'm going to do is aim down sight I'm going to keep hold of the trigger not going to adjust the analogs and I'll let, let you see what the outcome is of the uh, recoil uh, you know without the kick proficiency I've got the attack, attachment proficiency on and grip uh, which I think is better than kick but as you can see there's quite a bit of recoil from it uh, it starts off well and then as you keep an hold of the uh, the trigger it starts to lift up now fair enough you might not keep hold of the trigger for as long as that but there is still quite a lot of kick so we're going to go put the tack insert down uh, we're going to do exactly the same thing with the ACOG um, and see the difference between the ACOG and the red dot sight So exactly the same thing there guys, I aimed down sight, kept hold of the trigger, uh, it's a little bit worse. Now, having tested it a few times, there's not much difference in them to be honest. Uh, that possibly looks a little bit worse than what I've seen in the past. Um, but I'm going to change it up again now, I'm going to put the thermal scope on. I'm going to go back, uh, put me back against the wall, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. It's, it, I mean it's not even a long range this, it's uh, short to medium range, it's not long at all. Um, but just to show you the thermal sight with grip, uh, quick draw pro, which I'll talk about in a second. But uh, look at the difference here. You'll see on the left-hand side the bullets start to leave on the uh, the one closest to it, which I'll show you in a second. Can you see the, the bullet started to disappear? But look at the difference on that. Just with the thermal sight, there's no difference at all uh, with the grip, uh, the proficiency that I've got on, any attachments, anything like that. Uh, this is where the bullet started disappearing as we were firing them one so that actually the one on the left looks better than what it was before um, but what a difference I mean look at that hole compared to the other one on the left it's unbelievable I don't know why it happens I've no idea anyway once I've actually got the uh, thermal s scope on, on this gun uh, I was playing search and destroy at the time I've been trying for uh, a couple of hours to get the thermal scope on Domination and Headquarters but after a while on Modern Warfare 3 Domination and Headquarters just has me wrecked, it does me head in I have to go and calm down a little bit so I'll go and play some Search anyway I was playing Search and I wanted to get this thermal and it, this is the the game step look watch this first hold on look at this unbelievable can't believe it uh, this is a game uh, as soon as I got the thermal scope directly after I got it unbelievable I mean you just led there I wouldn't have seen him otherwise um, I mean obviously if you had Assassin on like this next guy coming up um, you know I, poss I possibly still wouldn't have seen him but I saw him I saw him on radar looked in I wouldn't have seen him without, without the thermal on but look at this I slow this down here because look at that it's just like a laser it's like a laser beam uh, I slowed that bit down because I actually uh, sped up the final kill cam now what I'm planning on doing I've not played any domination or headquarters or anything like that with this gun yet but obviously I'm going to give it a try uh, what I'm planning on uh, doing, I'm going to go with probably blind eye, uh, so that enemy, uh, you know, enemy air support can't see me. Uh, so I'm going to probably carry um, a stinger with it. I don't really need a secondary with this gun um, because of the actual size. Of, you know, the clips, the clips are massive. You get plenty of bullets, so I don't, I don't need uh, a secondary really. Uh, I've got plenty to go at. I'm also probably going to run with steady aim, which I think I'm running on with this because there will be times where I don't want to aim down sight. Even though I've got a quick draw pro on, uh, it's still not the fastest at aiming down sight compared to your uh, assault rifles or your submachine guns, etc. But it's still quick. It's still um, quicker than the uh, any of the other LMGs that I've ever seen. So, uh, you know, have a go with that. Uh, and also, when you uh, need to reload, you don't need sleight of hand because that's quick as well. But if you want to have a go at it, guys, on, I mean, honestly, look at this. It's ridiculous. Have a go at it. it it's just absolutely daft. But that's the perks I'm going to try. You, you know, there might be better ones. Uh, you might find better ones. But all I was thinking was, if I'm going to be using Blind Eye, I'm going to be using this gun on Domination as a backup to my team. So if they're taking a flag, 
I'm going to be chucking smoke grenades down just past the flag and I'm going to be taking out the guys that are obviously either defending it or that are going to be coming around the corner and I'll take them out with my thermal scope um, I have to be behind my teammate because I've no choice because you do run a little bit slower um, so I'm going to be behind my team look at that two guys there without uh, with assassin on couldn't see him through the thermal but so easy um, but this one I mean this one's ridiculous but yeah I'm going to be uh, supporting my team uh, with smoke not only that I'll be taking down UAVs that's going to give me uh, point streaks um, I'm also going to be taking down enemy aircraft that's going to give me it as well so have a go at it if you can cope with uh, using the ACOG uh, or the holographic or the red dot sight until you get it it is well worth it I love it but as soon as I get another gameplay I'll post it up and let you see how I've done